All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? There's been a conversation to be had. LeBron James murals, right? He's a new Los Angeles Laker. And obviously, when you got a guy this popular coming in town, guys are going to create art out of respect for King James. Um, let him know that he's welcome to Los Angeles. Now, there are people who are going to welcome LeBron to Los Angeles. And there are going to be people who are not so happy that LeBron James is in town. There are a lot of Kobe Bryant fans who were... Look, I was a Kobe fan growing up. Them LeBron James-Kobe debates and when I was in school, elementary, middle school, high school, got serious. I've gotten into fights over those debates. So trust me, it was real. I know. There are some people who are not going to let Kobe's legacy... They're not going to let it die. And they, they look at LeBron joining L.A., as a slap in the face because people are going to forget how great Kobe was. Now, I would never forget how great Kobe was. You know, I was very young when Kobe won his first ring with the Lakers. I was five. By the time he had won his fourth championship, I was much older and respected his path back to greatness. And um, number five was just topping on the cake because that was a tough game seven against the Boston Celtics that year. Right? So, again, Kobe got five rings. I don't think his legacy is going anywhere, but there are people who believe LeBron James can challenge his legacy. If LeBron's able to win a championship, not only win a championship, but defeat one of the all-time teams, the Golden State Warriors, to do it. Now, you're looking at in the background right now this mural of LeBron James that was painted a couple weeks ago. Beautiful, right? Whoever did this is incredibly talented. Now, what I want to show you is what happened to it after... Uh, I'm guessing some Kobe fans got to it. Or maybe they just don't like the Lakers and they're living in Los Angeles. That's weird, but maybe that's it. It got worse than this, but this is just a, a glimpse of a picture that was taken where people, I, I don't know, I think they got a penis coming out of LeBron's mouth or, or I think they're drawing a penis. They destroyed the mural, right? They did not like it. And I don't like that because that's just basketball. You destroyed someone's art. And look how detailed that picture is of LeBron. That took somebody hours. I don't like when people destroy other people's stuff. Like, don't... I get it. Technically, anybody could paint over it, I guess. But that just seems corny to me because you're a fan of basketball. Like, it's just basketball. Like, damn. Yo, come on now. Now, there has been a repaint. I think the same guy did it, right? And it's a new mural. And I think this one is going to go over. Even though if somebody wants their five seconds of fame, they're going to go paint over this thing anyways because we're in the, in the social media era. But let's look at the new one, right? And and let's see. Now, over in the corner, um, to uh, my far, depending on how you're watching this video, to your right of me, there is Wilt in the corner, right? You can barely see him. He's kind of cut off. But from there we go over. You got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar holding a championship. You got Magic Johnson. You got Shaq. And you got Kobe. So obviously they're putting up some of the greatest Lakers of all time. And then you have LeBron looking at these guys, kind of chasing their legacy. See, I don't even like this image because in my mind, it's like LeBron's chasing these Lakers. See, I look at that as something that Lonzo Ball should be painted in or Brandon Ingram or one of these young Lakers like who's trying to find themselves and like make their legacy. See, the thing about with LeBron is on most greatest of all time lists, he's number two already on most people's greatest of all times. Liz, he's right under Michael. Or if you don't have him under Michael, you might have him under Michael Kareem. Or at worst case, Michael Kareem and Magic. But I don't think anyone has Kobe, Shaq, or Wilt over LeBron. I don't, I don't see that list. That's not on my list. And I love Kobe. Again, I know they're looking at this from a greatest Laker of all time. But let's face it, bro. There's nothing, in my opinion, LeBron can do in four years to submit his legacy over some of these greatest of all time Lakers. In my opinion, we're not going to think back and think Lakers when we think LeBron. We're going to think Cleveland. We probably won't even think Miami, though he won his most championships in Miami to this date, right? Let's say LeBron wins one ring with LA. That means he'll been won one with LA, one with Cleveland, and two in Miami. We're going to remember him coming back from 3-1 against those Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals, no matter what. That's my moment of LeBron. That's my, when I think his legacy, I think that. If he even won two rings in Los Angeles, I'm 
not gonna put this dude over those great Lakers. I mean, Shaq was one of the most dominant forces of all time. He was in his prime in LA. All these guys, maybe outside of Wilt, spent their primes in LA. LeBron's coming out of his primes in the next year or so. LeBron took care of his body a little better. You know, Magic obviously had HIV. Kareem took care of his body very well. I'll, I'll, I'll exclude him. Kobe took care of his body very well, but Shaq and Wilt, come on, y'all. Now, like, I don't know about this. I don't really, I, the, Im the image is dope from a paint standpoint. Whoever did this, but not, I think the same guy did this one as well. Phenomenal talent. Like, if you look at these, this guy's images, like, he's dope, right? But in regards of just the actual, what the image means, I don't look at LeBron as somebody who, night in, night out, he's looking up in the Raptors at the championship. Because he can't beat that no matter what. He top Father Tom is not on LeBron's side in that challenge. What y'all think? Talk to me in the comment box below. Whoever made this painting, if you watch this video, dope, dope stuff. Salute to you. But the meaning of it, I don't think LeBron's looking up chasing any Lakers. That's just my opinion. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.